Let's now take a look at question number 18. Here we're going to use the variable approach method again. First, we modify the original condition. Here what we're told, the round table covered by a rectangular shaped tablecloth. Okay, well the round table can be represented like that, and the tablecloth could be like that. What we need to know is R for the round tablecloth, one variable, and we need AB for the rectangular. We need two variables here. So three variables total right now, R, A, and B. And this means that we need three equations to solve for the three variables. Well, condition one and two only gives us an equation each. This means that E is going to be likely our answer. And E is actually going to be our answer. Let's see why by looking at condition one and two together. So first of all, tablecloth. So the round table looks like this. And the tablecloth looks like this. In this case, it's completely covered. But it's also quite possible that with the round table like this, the tablecloth is going to be very, very, very long and still retain its area of 200 centimeters squared. In which case, we answer no here. We answer yes with the previous one. Since yes and no come out at the same time, it's insufficient and E is going to be our answer. Remember, this is the variable approach method. 